Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. The show is a brand new 2017 movie that stars Josh Dumal from the Transformers movies, uh, Fanka Janssen, Giancarlo Esposito, who also directs the movie, who you will remember and recognise from Breaking Bad. And it has a cameo appearance as well from James Franco. And this is a movie that, I'll be honest, I wasn't particularly that interested in seeing in fact i knew of it but i didn't know much about it and then i watched a trailer and i thought wow this is very topic heavy right now and it's a it's a very interesting subject i mean because let's be honest hands up in all honesty who's fed up of reality tv that's me i mean i can't stand it i'm so sick to the back teeth of reality tv um, and this taps right into that, right into that issue where society is 50-50 down the middle, probably around that, and most hate, the ones on one side hate it, the ones on the other side love it, and they can't get enough of it. And this movie taps really into that, and a very, very clever concept that this is. And what we get here is, at the beginning, we've got Josh Dumal, who's a game show host. He's hosting a show called Marry, uh, Married to the Millionaire, something like that. And the winner of this reality show gets to marry a millionaire. And it's the very final episode. And the millionaire chooses who he's going to marry. And it's all happy and jolly. But the one who gets rejected on the very final show has a gun and starts shooting. Kills the millionaire and uh, threatens to kill others. And the game show host there, Josh, he protects the other bride. Um, it makes national headlines for all the wrong reasons and all the right reasons really they call him a hero and off the back of it the um the network find out from their lawyers that they're not liable and in fact they actually uncover some information that actually if people live on air decided to commit suicide as long as it uh, the sh the network could be proved that they didn't contribute to their mental state it's, there's no illegal issue. There's there's no law being broken, so they present this idea to the to um, uh, Josh Demal's character, the game show host guy, who is appalled by it initially, but he soon comes around, and he's like, right, I'm going to do it, but we're going to do it like this, and he thinks he's going to make like this really cracking show that's going to revolutionise TV, um, and the idea is that people turn up live on air and they commit suicide, and the viewers get to phone in and donate money to their family. Um, it's people that are obviously at the end of the terror; they need money for the families or whatever. So he sees it as that he's actually um, saving lives and saving a family because someone's going to take the life anyway. If they do it on this show, the family gets money, all that kind of stuff. And they actually go through with it. It's quite shocking, really. Um, and guess what? Society watches, as as it would. We all know they would. And it's a huge smash hit, and it starts escalating and getting out of control. But we also actually uh, we meet Josh Duhamel's character's his sister, who's quite a broken woman really in her own way who's trying to build this relationship back with a brother that's not going well and we've got um his character there i've forgotten his name now the director um gus from breaking bad his character we see consistently throughout the movie who's a who's a father of two he's got a disabled son he cannot hold down a job. He can't maintain a job. There's no jobs for him. And he's absolutely at the end of his tether. He's going to lose his house. There's bills that he can't pay. Debts he can't pay. And he's at the absolute end of his tether. He, he really is. He's desperate for him. Um, and he's appalled by the concept of this show. But you can see where this is going. So that's the premise that we get here. A shocking premise really. And quite a fantastical one. But... If you actually sit and analyse it and think about it, I don't think uh, we're too far removed from a format like this anyway in regards to reality TV. It's going to such extremes now. People are getting injured on some of them. Um, and there's one in the UK um, called The Naked Truth, something like that, where it's a dating show where people are actually stood naked examining each other and deciding who they want to date, depending on what they think they look like. It's shocking, really. So something like this, I think society is only one push away from something like this being aired to a certain degree. And I really, 
I think the idea is great and for the most part they execute it pretty well i think where this movie gets it wrong is um it, it kind of thinks small scale in the, into how it's filmed it doesn't feel the, like this huge event show um i think what they end up turning josh Dumal's character into is like a caricature of this evil game show host um and uh, I think by the end of the movie it goes down a fairly predictable route or I think the first three quarters of the movie was investing and interesting the final quarter of the movie was um, as expected and no real surprises really and they turned the game show host into like a moustache twiddling villain but a very very fine attempt and a very very pleasant surprise of a movie this I, I i didn't expect it to be this good i'll be honest i thought it was going to be absolute trash um and i was i thought i was going to rip it to pieces because of the reality tv connection stuff but i can't i can honestly say this is a really really good watch and a very very interesting idea and if you're looking for something a bit different this is a very very good drama to watch